Welcome to Love and Life's Journey. I'm Chantel, and today we are going to be making an oversized farmhouse style monogram wreath. So let's jump in and get started. For this project, I will be using a hula hoop from Dollar Tree, and this is the smaller size. I'll also be using this wooden letter that I picked up at Walmart for $1.97 in their craft section. They had all of the letters to choose from and these are just unfinished wooden letters. I'll also be using two bunches of the lamb's ear from Walmart. These are 97 cents each and there are two stems in each bunch. I picked up four of these lavender and white greenery bouquets from Dollar Tree to use for this project. And you can choose any florals and color scheme that you want to do to make it your own. I'm going to be using some of this black and white checked wide wired ribbon that I picked up at Hobby Lobby after Christmas. I got this on sale and it's not Christmas ribbon really. I can use it all year long and there's 75 feet on this roll and I got it for 40% off so this was a great deal. I'll also be using a little bit of jute twine. I get mine in this really big one pound roll from Walmart and I believe this is like $3.97 but it, there is a lot of twine on this roll. And for paint, I will be using Waverly chalk paint in the colors ivory and ink. Basically just an off-white and a black. To start, I am going to take the foil tape off of the outside of the hula hoop and I'm using an X-Acto knife just to lift up the edge and then it just peels up. It was a little hard to get started, but after that it just peeled right off. Then I'm going to take the ivory chalk paint and a dry brush and I am going to just dry brush on the hoop to kind of lighten it up and give it more of that farmhouse look. For those of you who are new to crafting, dry brushing just means you take a dry brush with a very little bit of paint on it and just lightly go over your project so that just a little bit of paint gets left on it and it gives it that aged or distressed look. I'm going to set the hoop aside and then I am going to paint my monogram letter. And I did sand this a little bit. It had some rough edges and, and spots, so I just took a piece of sandpaper and went over it and smoothed it out a little bit. And then I'm going to paint the whole letter in the ivory chalk paint. And I did paint the sides and the back of this as well. Once the letter is dry, then I am going to take some of the ink colored chalk paint and I'm going to uh, take my brush and again I'm going to dry brush on my letter just to give it that distressed and aged look. And then I'm also going to go over the edges and kind of the corners of the letter a little bit darker because I just want to accentuate that and bring it out so that the letter shows up more. And how much you distress this is really up to you. It's just personal preference how dark you want it. So now that both my hoop and my letter are painted and dry, I am going to give them both a good coat or a couple of coats of this clear matte sealer just to protect them. If you didn't want to paint your letter, I was in Hobby Lobby today and I saw these monogram letters 50% off. They are really pretty with those leaf cutouts and they're already painted and ready to go at 50% off. They would be about $4.50. So that's an option too. Before we finish our wreath, I want to let you know that today's video is part of Nadia's Wreath Wednesday. Thank you so much, Nadia, for inviting me to collab with you on this. I will have the link to Nadia's channel, DIY with Nadia, as well as the link to her Wreath Wednesday video in the description box below. So after you've finished watching my video, be sure to head on over to her channel and let her know I sent you. 
So I pulled apart those two bunches of lamb's ear, so I, now I have four stems, and I also have four stems of those lavender and white greenery bunches from Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to divide them equally to use on each side of the wreath. For those of you who are not used to doing florals or arranging florals, this is a really easy way to do it. And so uh, you could pull these apart, glue things on individually, but I just wanted to show you a really easy way to do this. So I'm going to layer these. I'm going to start with one of the lamb's ear, and then I am going to use some floral wire. You could use twine, you could use zip ties, you could even use like the little twisty bread ties, uh, just anything you have to attach it. I am going to be using uh, some floral wire that I just had on hand. So I'm laying this on the wreath so that it is going up the wreath about halfway. And I do want to say here, you want to put the little uh, part of the hula hoop where the ends come together down at the bottom so that it's going to be covered up with all your florals and bow. You don't want that at the top where it's going to be seen. So um, I am going to start with just wrapping my wire around. Then I'm going to add one of the floral greenery bunches on top and wire that on and I'm not really making these super secure this is more of a, just a little bit of a temporary hold until I get everything in place and then I'll be adding some hot glue to hold everything down then I'm going to layer another stem of lamb's ear and then another a floral stem and so I'll have a total of four stems on each side and I'm leaving about two to three inches between the seam of the hula hoop and where the greenery starts uh, just so that I have a place for my bow to fit nicely and then I'm going to repeat this process on the other side Now I'm going to pull some of the lamb's ear leaves up through the florals and some of the florals up through the lamb's ear leaves just to mix them up and make them look more natural. I want to have a nice full bow in the center of this so I'm using this wide wired ribbon and I am going to make the bow and then I'll attach it to that center part of, in between the florals. When I make my bows, I always leave the ribbon on the spool because I don't like to waste ribbon and this will ensure that I'll have enough ribbon to make the size bow that I want. So I am going to figure out the size that I want. So now that I've determined the size of my loops, I'm going to loop my ribbon back and forth. And a tip here is if you have one-sided ribbon, you will just make a twist in the center each time before you do a loop so that the right side of the ribbon is always facing out. But since this ribbon is the same on both sides, I don't have to worry about that. So I'm just making sure my loops are the size that I want. I'm doing five loops on each side with one center loop uh, at the end and then I will use a piece of wire. You could use a chenille stem or otherwise known as a pipe cleaner or um, another piece of ribbon, just something to tie your bow to hold it and then I'm gonna fluff it up, make sure that it looks good. Uh, before I cut it off the spool, I'm going to make sure that I'm happy with how it looks and the size of it. Before I attach my bow, I do want to go back and add some hot glue to the florals to make sure that they are nice and secured to the hula hoop. So I am just making sure they're in place and then I'm going to tighten the wire a little bit and then I'm also going to add hot glue wherever I think it needs a little bit more uh, to secure that. 
and then I will take some wire cutters and just trim off a little bit of those stems that are sticking out. And I'll secure the ends of those with a little extra hot glue as well. So now I'm going to attach my bow and I like to use something a little bit longer when I tie off my bow uh, so that I can just use that same piece of wire or ribbon to tie the bow onto my project. So that's what I'm going to do. I use just some floral wire and I'm going to wrap that around the hula hoop and twist it so that it's nice and tight and then I will secure that with some extra hot glue as well. I'm also going to turn the wreath over and just add a little bit of extra hot glue over the top of that wire on the back side to make sure the bow is nice and secure. The last step is to attach my monogram letter on and for this I am using some jute twine. I just cut about a 16 inch piece and I folded it in half. I'm taking the loop um, behind the hoop hanging down and then just pulling the ends through and depending on the letter that you use you may attach yours differently uh, I thought about doing it this way and then I thought no I think it will hang better if I just uh, do it one long piece down the center of the letter so um, that's how I decided to hang mine like I said depending on what letter you use you may want to hang it a little bit differently So this is how I glued mine on and once that's finished then this project is done. Now another option if you don't care for the looks of the black hula hoop wreath then you could take twine and cover the entire wreath with twine and this does take a little bit of time but it's super easy and uh, I just wrapped the twine all around the wreath just pulling it tight and uh, just adding a little bit of hot glue every so often to hold it in place. Once I get to the end and the whole wreath is covered in twine then I just cut that end off and attach it with a little bit of hot glue. I actually made a wreath like this wrapping it in twine uh, in a previous video and here it is. I will put the link to this in the card above so that you can see how I made that entire wreath project if you like. Here is today's finished wreath project, the farmhouse monogram look. I really like how this came out. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet, I would love to have you stick around. So hit that subscribe button as well as the bell and set your notifications so that YouTube will notify you when I upload new videos. Before I end this video, I need to announce who the winner of the April Dollar Tree Mystery Box is. Every month on my channel, I do a giveaway for some of those hard to find Dollar Tree items. I put together a mystery box and I choose a winner that has commented on my Dollar Tree Haul video for that month. I will be posting the May Dollar Tree Haul next week for uh, the month of May and that's where you will enter to win the May box. But the winner for the April Dollar Tree Mystery Box is Linda Hutchings. Congratulations, Linda. Be sure to send me an email or a private message on Facebook or Instagram so I can get your box to you. Those links are in the description box below. Remember to head on over to Nadia's channel and check out her project that she has done for Wreath Wednesday as well. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a blessed day. Thank you.